Today, I decided to reveal some of the AutoCAD block features big industries are hiding from you. So if you wanna be more efficient, follow me and let's get started. Hi, welcome to a new video on AutoCAD tips, tricks and hacks. In AutoCAD, a block is a collection of objects that are combined into a single named object. It is useful for producing repeated CAD content, so if you modified one, the others will do it automatically. The following are some sample blocks. AutoCAD blocks trees, AutoCAD blocks people, and so on. Blocks in AutoCAD can be as simple as selecting the objects that you created for the block, starting the block command, entering a name for the block, and specifying the block insertion point. Or complex as smart dynamic blocks that do multiple operations. If you want to be efficient in AutoCAD, then use blocks strategically and with the right commands. Let's reveal these AutoCAD block commands. Coming down from number 3. Beginners AutoCAD users tend to explode blocks when they want to modify them, because they don't know how to trim block without exploding. However, these big industries wouldn't explode their AutoCAD blocks. Instead, they will hide portion of the block by using xclip command. To unhide block, use xclip frame command and set it to zero. In the extreme case that these big industries have no other option but to explode their AutoCAD blocks, do you think they'll explode them using explode command? Oh no, no big industries. They know that by doing this their blocks will lose their layers properties and even content information. Instead, they use AutoCAD burst command. These will explode their blocks but leave them on their correct layer, plus will keep whatever content these blocks have. Number 1. Industries usually receive big set of plans with many AutoCAD blocks. Most of the time, these blocks are not created with the correct AutoCAD best practices. For instance, these blocks have base point in the wrong place, creating many future issues such as not able to stretch block, scale block, and so on. So do industries leave them like that to avoid headaches? Oh no, no big industries. They will fix them all at once. Here is the trick. Open block editor. Draw a line from 0, 0, 0,0,0 origin point to your desired insertion point for your block. Now save and close AutoCAD block editor. In model space, use move command to place your block like so. Finally, 
access block editor again, remove line and save. As you can see, all blocks insertion points are now in the correct position. These were just few out to cut practices big industries were hiding you. Let me know in the comments if you want me to keep revealing more. Don't forget to give this video a like, share with your friends and click subscribe for less clicks and more done.